Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Before we get started, you guys, my subscriber count has really been going up lately. I'm getting so close to hitting my goal of 1,000 subscribers, which is the threshold to monetize your channel on YouTube. I have enough watch hours, but I need to get to 1,000 subscribers so I can monetize. So I'm super excited that that number has been going up. If you haven't subscribed yet, maybe click the subscribe button or the thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a lot. But anyway, let's just get into it. Today, I wanted to make an update video for my tattoo tour. So my tattoo tour video is one of the most watched videos on my channel. I will link it up here if you haven't seen it. Basically that video is me going through all of my 28 at that time tattoos to tell you the stories behind them, how much they cost, where I got them, the artist that did it. So I put that video up last August and it's been a while since I've done a tattoo video. So I thought it would be fun to do kind of an annual tattoo tour update where I show you guys the tattoos that I've gotten in the past year. So if you wanna see my first 28 tattoos, you can go to that video. I will link it down below. And in in today's video, I want to talk about the tattoos that I've gotten since that video. So I've gotten seven new tattoos in the past year, bringing me up to a total of 35. So I'm not going to bore you with going through all the ones that I've already talked about. You can go watch that video, but let's jump in and talk about all of the new pieces I've got done this last year. So we had left off with my ankle tattoos, which I got done in July. After that, my next tattoo was in October and this was done in Montreal. It's a little bouquet of flowers. The artist is Sarah Lang at the shop Des Le Maman tattoo in Montreal. Sarah Lang has tattooed me every time I've been to Canada except the most recent time because I actually took another trip after this trip that I'm talking about. But I just kind of started this little tradition of every time I went to Canada, I got tattooed by Sarah. She just kind of happened to be free during my first trip. I really liked her work and I scheduled the appointment. And then every time since I've booked with her. So I have three tattoos by her. This one was the most recent. It's just a little flash tattoo. There's really no meaning behind it or anything, but it's a fun little filler. I thought it was really cute. And it's always so nice to see her and catch up because I usually have seen her like once a year-ish since we first met. The the cost of this tattoo altogether with tip and everything was about $200 Canadian, which is around 150-ish US. So not a bad price and she did a really good job. The next tattoo I got was in January of 2023 and this is a unicorn on my leg. This was done by my friend Aaron Harmon. He was doing a guest spot at a shop called Good Luck Tattoo in Brooklyn. So this tattoo is loosely based on the unicorn in captivity, which is part of the unicorn tapestry series. One of my favorite artworks of all time. And in the original unicorn in captivity, you see the unicorn bleeding. So we thought about doing this tattoo with like little blood spots, like kind of similar to the original, but we decided that having an arrow sticking out of him would be a little bit more cool looking, a little different. So that's what we went with. We also played with the idea of doing multiple arrows, but we decided one was the way to go. While Aaron was tattooing this, he kept describing it as like a very painterly approach to the tattoo. So like as it healed, it would heal in like layers and different tones of gray. I think it healed really well and turned out really beautiful. And then also on the same day at that appointment, I got this cute little heart with an A in it. And this is a tattoo for my best friend, Anna. I had promised her for years and years that I was gonna get a tattoo for her. So finally I did. Just super simple little heart with her initial in it. Aaron and I were joking that like, if she and I are ever not friends anymore, the A can stand for Aaron because he did the tattoo, but I'm not concerned about that whatsoever. Now the clock is ticking for Anna to get a tattoo for me because she started getting tattooed like a year-ish ago. So I'm waiting, TikTok. So for both of these tattoos with tip and everything included, I paid $300. And Aaron also did a couple little touch-ups for me at the same time. He's tattooed me a lot. And I had a couple of little rose tattoos from him that just needed a little bit of touching up with the red. So while he was tattooing the red from the heart, he touched up a couple of my other roses. After that tattoo in March, I had an appointment with Mike Adams and I just made this appointment completely blind. Like I had no plan of what I was gonna get. I was just planning to get a flash piece. Actually, originally I came in wanting to get my elbow tattooed. I just didn't know what I wanted to do with it. But Mike and I discussed it and we decided we would take some more time to think about my elbow and in the meantime, 
meantime, I was just gonna get a flash kind of filler piece. So I got this really pretty dainty little rose. I have a couple of rose tattoos. I actually have another rose tattoo from Mike and I like that this one is really different. My other tattoo is a lot like bigger and bolder and this one is more like dainty and delicate looking. It's on the back of my arm in a spot that I needed a gap filled and I think it blends in really nice with the rest of my tattoos. This was done at a private studio in Brooklyn and it was $300. My next tattoo was in May and this tattoo was totally on a whim. I literally woke up in the morning, saw an Instagram that this event was going on and went and signed up and did it. So a local shop in my area is called Ritual Shop and they do like events. They used to sell jewelry and crystals and it's kind of like a multi-use space. It used to be more of a boutique. Now it's more of like an eventing space. So they were doing this event where it was like a pop-up of vintage clothing, permanent jewelry, like permanent welded bracelets and little tattoos. So I signed up to do a stick and poke tattoo with Jillian Boss. She had this cute little tiny flash sheet of a bunch of different options and I picked out this little sun. I really love him. And this was my first time getting a stick and poke tattoo. It was a very different experience than usual. Obviously the method of doing a stick and poke is quite different than machine tattooing, but it turned out so well. She has a really unique way of applying the tattoo. So it honestly looks like a machine tattoo, even though it's stick and poke. It turned out really solid, really black. I love the way it healed. So this is one of my favorite tattoos, even though it's like so tiny, it was just on a whim. I really love how this turned out. Because this was a pop-up special, the tattoos were all hundred dollars and then I tipped her twenty dollars so it was 120. After that tattoo in June I got my little crescent moon. This is again done by Erin Harmon at the Masquerade Studio in Frederick, Maryland. This was another one where I had just kind of made an appointment with Erin, didn't know what I wanted to get and just picked something out of his flashbook and I think it turned out really really well. I had just gotten the sun so I feel like maybe the moon was kind of the natural progression of the next thing to get. It's just a crescent moon with a couple little stars and it's a really nice little cap off to my arm. I still want to get my shoulder tattooed, but I think that'll probably be a larger piece. So this was a nice like little smaller piece to kind of close off my patchwork sleeve. And this tattoo I actually got for free because my boyfriend graciously paid for it for me. And finally, also in June, actually on the same little trip to Frederick, I got my back tattooed. So I decided a long time ago that I'm probably not ever going to do a big back piece, like one giant tattoo that's all one thing. I think back pieces are really really cool i know some people that have really really nice like huge back pieces that look amazing for me it's not really my style i don't have anything that i would want in that large of a scale so i've decided to kind of continue the patchwork style from my arm onto my back just at like a larger scale not quite as big as a back piece like a full piece but you know larger ish scale pieces and i had this fun idea that i wanted to do kind of like angel on one shoulder, devil on one shoulder kind of vibe. So I found some Gustav Dore drawings to inspire these pieces. So I sent a bunch of drawings to Mike. I was like, here's my inspiration. I trust you. Mike has tattooed me a ton. So I was like, whatever you think will look cool, let's do it. And he made this design, which is based on Gustav Dore. The devil side is based on this drawing of Satan or Lucifer, I guess, at that point, falling out of heaven. And the angel is based on just a random Gustav Dore angel. But these turned out so well. I'm so happy with them. Everybody who has seen these tattoos has said that they love the way that they're placed and the way that they're balanced. I think Mike did a really good job. You have to put a lot of trust in your tattoo artist or the person you bring with you when you're getting something done on your back because you you can't and never will see it. So you have to trust them that it's being placed perfectly. And I think in my case, it definitely was. My total for this tattoo was $450. And it makes me really excited to continue the rest of my back. I have a few ideas of what I wanna do, but we'll see. I'm not in a rush to do anything. I think my next big priority is doing my elbow and like any little filler spots in my arm so that my arm can just kind of be done. And then maybe I'll work on more of my back. But those are all the new tattoos I've gotten in the past year year so this brings me up to 35 total tattoos sometimes people will ask me like how I count different tattoos like for example the angel and demon like is it two tattoos or one I consider them
than one because they were done at the same time and they're kind of one idea so all in all i have 35 tattoos there will probably be many more to come like i said if you guys have not seen part one of this series where i went through my 28 first tattoos i will link that down below so you can go watch it that one goes way more in depth it's a much longer video but i had a lot more tattoos to get through let me know in the comments down below what are you guys planning to get tattooed next or if you don't have a tattoo yet, what's your first tattoo gonna be? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.